every day or at least three or four times a week I've been receiving a phone call. How can I hatch the highest number of chicks? I've been trying to hatch and the first hatch I got a successful hatch, the second one failed, the third one was successful. The curve has not been smooth how all along. Is the problem my machine? Is the problem the eggs? Is the, what is the problem? What is the problem? What is the problem? Okay. Today we want to discuss how you can get the highest hatchability percentage as a hatchery. Okay? My name is Antonio Innocent Mdongi. If you haven't subscribed to our YouTube channel, kindly hit the subscribe button. You'll always get a success story every week or an educative video every week. The biggest problem has been hatching of chicks. What is the correct temperature? What is the correct humidity? What is the correct type of machine I can use? I answer all that. The very important thing if you want to start a successful hatchery business, if you want to hatch the highest number of chicks, get your pen and paper. One is the egg. Before starting a successful hatchery business, get the correct source of eggs. Look for the correct supplier of fertile eggs. Now, when you get the fertile eggs, you don't just buy any eggs. The first condition is the eggs must be a maximum of seven days old from the time they were laid. The second condition must is the eggs must be of medium size. We don't recommend use of very small eggs because they produce very weak chicks. We don't recommend use of very big or huge eggs. Most of them are double yolk. And the probability of a double yolk hatching is 50-50. If a double yolk will hatch, it will produce very two tiny chicks whose survival rate is quite low. And therefore, in the long run, then we rule out on using a huge egg. So you get an average egg. The egg must be smooth shelled. Any egg that is rough shelled, any egg that is soiled, don't use that egg. How do you transport the egg from the breeder to your hatchery? Transport the eggs using a smooth medium of transport. Kindly don't use a motorbike. Don't use a tuk-tuk or a tricycle in transporting fertile eggs from the farm to your hatchery. You know, what we have to do at this point is a fertile egg has got the zygote. The zygote has been held in position at the center of the yolk with the filament. So if you transport it using a rough or a shaky media that is using a motorbike or a tricycle, these vehicles keep shaking. Then the yolk keeps shaking and the filament is cut. So once the filament is cut from the airspace, it means that the zygote becomes unstable and therefore it cannot develop into an embryo and finally a fetus. So if you transport your eggs using a shaky media, you reduce the percentage of the hatchability. What is the correct way of storing the eggs? You have transported the eggs from the breeder to your hatchery. Do you just bring them and put them there? Do you Preserve them in a chilled environment? No. Preserve the eggs with the wide side facing up and the narrow side facing down. This is because the wide side is the airspace. The zygote, or rather the embryo, needs air for growth and development. So once you store the eggs in the opposite side, the airspace gets displaced and therefore the zygote gets choked. This same principle applies while loading the eggs from the crates to the setter trays, the incubator setter trays, all right? Very important, for you to maximize your hatchability, do not just get eggs from the breeder, bring them and then load to the incubator. After transporting the eggs to your farm or your hatchery, give them a rest of at least two hours. During this time, I presume that you'd have already started running your incubator in the last 12 hours so that it stabilizes, 
and you're able to check that all parameters and all systems on the incubator, that's the temperature control, the egg turner, the humidity control, or that, the hygrometer, the water heaters are all working. That's when now you can load the eggs from your storage to the incubator. Very important now. How do we run an incubator? How do we run an incubator to maximize our returns? One, if you load the incubator with eggs, it is always advisable that if you want to maximize on your output, never ever open the incubator. However, in rare cases, we do open our incubators and top up or rather add water, but always we always advise farmers connect your incubator with an external water source so that it can have a floater when the water is full in the water heater bucket the floater automatically cut the water supply so that you don't keep opening and closing of the incubator what's the required temperature for egg hatching that is uh, chicken eggs the required temperature is 37.5 when you look at an incubator panel very well, there are two temperature meters. At the top, there's a temperature reading that is written ST. ST stands for set value. And at the bottom, there's a reading, same applies for the humidity. There are two humidity readings, one at the top and one below. The top one is written ST, that's the set value, and the lower one is written PV. The required set value for humidity is 65. That is between day 1 and day 18. We call it the setter period. When your eggs are ready for hatching, that is from day 19 up to day 22, what is the required temperature? What is the required humidity? The required temperature will be maintained at 37.5 and the required humidity can alter depending on the type of hatching that you as a farmer wants. Another farmer will want to do dry hatching. For dry hatching, you just maintain 65 HH. And for the one that will want to do wet hatching, that's when you have to adjust the temperature, the humidity readings from 65 to read between 70 and 80 HH. From experience, and personally, I recommend dry hatching. Very important, you now know how to handle the eggs. You now know how to load the incubator. You now know the required temperature for setting and the required temperature for, humi for, for, for the required humidity for setting. You know the required temperature for hatching and you know the required humidity for hatching. At day 18, at this period we call it lockdown, you transfer the eggs from the setter to the hatchery trays, okay? Use the shortest time possible to open the machine, transfer the eggs from the setter to the hatching box and transfer them to the lockdowns, uh, lockdown chamber.